from healthcare partners, doctors, and medical staff, we wish all of you a happy holidays. Happy holidays! This portion of the news is brought to you by Albertsons. You're in for something fresh. Welcome back to News 46. Well, how's your posture right now? Are you sitting up straight or are you slouched over? Poor posture can take a serious toll on your spine, shoulders, hips, and knees. Now, Marty Saltz has some simple ways to help you stand taller. This health tip is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment, 775-751-7100. Shoulders back, chest out, head up. How is your posture? I have really horrible posture. I have a tendency to keep my shoulders up like this. Expert Steven Weiniger says good posture means your head, torso, and pelvis are all stacked over your feet while you stand. We label those areas posture zones, and we try to pull posture zones towards center. Today, he took a posture picture of Dee Hobbs, which showed her zones aren't as well aligned as she thought and your pelvis is quite a bit to the left of center line. I am definitely surprised. But with a little work, Dee can improve her posture, and so can you. Making people aware of their body is the, the first thing you need to do to start functionally strengthening your posture. Then, Weiniger recommends BAM 321, balance three times a day, alignment two times a day, and motion once a day. Stand tall and touch the wall. To improve balance, lift your leg so your thigh is parallel to the ground while touching a wall. Hold it for five breaths. For alignment, move side to side while sitting on a balance ball. For motion, try moving forward and backward on the ball. You also feel the difference in your neck as well too as you're doing it. To improve posture while you sit at your desk, place your monitor and keyboard right in front of you so your torso doesn't twist. Also, make sure your hips are higher than your knees while you sit. Choose a chair you can adjust slightly forward or put a pillow on your seat. This feels better. And remember, no slouching. Simple tips to help you straighten up. I'm Marty Salt reporting. Weininger says kids are more at risk for poor posture today because of tablets, phones, and video games. They often sit in a tense position with their shoulders and lower back rounding forward while using these devices. He says the best way to help them improve their posture is to take a picture so they can see just how hunched they are. Also, having kids sit on an exercise ball while they watch TV will help improve their posture. The Shadow Mountain community players held their Christmas show this weekend at New Hope Fellowship. Okay, show's typical type of Christmas show to get you in the mood. It's about a boy who's not going to really have much of a Christmas and how his Christmas develops. Then after the show is over, we have singing that goes along with it. It's just, just a real nice Christmas evening type of things. And all the money that is collected here goes to Path of Hope, which is the food bag here through the church. It's feeding right now 500 families. We rehearsed down at the senior center, and I wanted to do something for the seniors seniors. So we decided to do a matinee show because so many of the seniors don't like to come out after dark and whatnot like that. And we'll, you know, we'll just uh, test, see how it goes. Yeah. If, if, it, if it's worthwhile, we'll do it again next year. So uh, everybody was invited down here to New Hope Fellowship. It was kind of a short program because right. you also do that for these Christmas shows. Oh yeah, yeah. Our Christmas shows usually are very short programs. The idea is to get people in the spirit of Christmas. And on. One of these years, I'll have enough people here that we'll do a full Christmas carol. You had uh, Lonnie Childress up there afterwards? Oh, yeah. Lonnie, Lonnie's great. He's got a nice voice and whatnot. He, he, he's good with the audience, and uh, he's just exactly what the show needed. bells in the snow. What's coming up next will be here in February, back here at New Hope. We'll do the Mouse Trap, which is the Agatha Christie murder mystery. There'll be a spaghetti dinner with it. Uh, charge on that's $15. Once again, proceeds will go to New Hope or go to the Path of Hope on it. And this this is a murder mystery. And this one's, this one's been running on London forever. Yeah. 
So if people want to find out more about Shadow Mountain Community Players, how to join, get involved, how can they do that? Okay. They call 727-6145. We're also on Facebook at Shadow Mountain Community Players. Either way will work. Thanks so much. Well, on November 27th, a deputy was dispatched to a report of a business alarm at the Goodwill store located at 1201 South Loop Road. When the officer arrived, he noticed the front door was broken and requested an additional officer to respond to the address to help him search the building. During the search of the building, a deputy reportedly saw a male later identified as Robert Clifton Payne attempting to exit through an inside door that appeared to be broken. When the suspect saw the deputy, he allegedly attempted to flee on foot. The officer apprehended Robert Payne and placed him under arrest. Payne is being held at Nye County Detention Center on burglary and other related charges. The Lions Club held Breakfast with Santa uh, this past Saturday, hosted by Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza. Breakfast with Santa gives the kids an opportunity to come and talk to Santa and bring their letters to him and tell him in person what they want for Christmas. Uh, the Lions Club is cooking uh, the breakfast. You guys have been doing this for many years now. Uh, this is our eighth year with the breakfast with Santa. We're cooking pancakes and sausages, and there's orange juice and milk and coffee and hot chocolate. And for the kids 12 and under, it's free. And for the adults, it's $4. So tell me a little bit about uh, the cards and letters that um, kids need to be sending, right? Well, the kids need to send their letters to just address it to Santa or the North Pole, anything Christmassy. The folks at the post office make sure that we get it. There's also the big mailbox out in front of the main post office that has a sign on it that says letters to Santa. And as long as we get your letter by the 20th of December, uh, you will get an answer back from Santa Claus. Are you guys need any volunteers or anything to help out Santa or donations um, or any kind of help that he might need for this holiday season? Uh, we're always accepting volunteers uh, and of course we're always accepting donations from individuals and businesses. You can contact the Lions Club by calling 727-9016 or you can just send it to P.O. Box 133, Pahrump, Nevada, 89041. Well, folks, keep it here because we're going to have more local news for you after these messages.